Hello, this is Cyber Journey. Today I'm going to talk about the art of bartending and how to uh, check for IDs and how to increase your tip wages in bartending. Alright, bartending is like creating like drinks with great uh, customer service and great drinks by following recipes and I've been a bartender for about two years and creating the recipes does take time to memorize the recipe and how to present it to make it look like uh, very colorful and here are some examples you can create like a query you can create Manhattan Island Manhattan drink and so forth there's a lot of different types of drinks there are over like a thousand recipes so it's gonna take time but it takes a lot of practice you don't need like a lot of training, you just attend a professional bartending school. It's like relatively cheap, like 100 bucks to 200 bucks. It's very easy and they help you, they also help you find jobs in their area. And there's like different types of bartending jobs you can look for. You can work at a restaurant that has a bar or a bar, a nightclub, an event. And there's one for entertainment, if you will go through a casino. Flare bartending is a little bit different. The same thing, you make drinks, but you just uh, throw around like bottles and keep the crowd entertained, and it'll help you receive higher tips. You want to learn flare bartending, go to Las Vegas, Nevada. They're the best training school right there. Or you can go international if you choose to. Okay, so bartending has a lot of good side and bad side. Good side is you can make good tips. To make good tips, you have to have good customer service, make the drinks correctly, accuracy, and talk with customers, keep them happy. And usually, you start in the beginning. Your tips, let's say, bartenders should make about at least minimum 20%. If you make, make the drinks, and you did correctly, even though you're slow, you maybe average about 10% of tips, 10 to 12%. The other 10% or 8, 8 to 10% of your tips will mostly come from your customer service and your presentation of the drinks. You know, some guests like to ask, customers like to ask, like, oh, what's the best uh, drink? Give me a recommendation. I mean, they're undecided because there's so many drinks. So I just recommend the popular ones. The popular ones are like Screwdriver, Grasshopper, Zombie, Tequila Sunrise, Sex on the Beach, and so on. Each bartending drinks is different for each bar, so you'll be learning different drinks. But they will use some of the uh, common popular ones, but with a twist of their own style for each bar. It's always different, so it's constantly a learning process. Okay, when you, next I'm going to talk about like uh, tips or checking ID, what to look for when you're looking at a driver license, military ID, and so forth, government ID. Okay, what to look for for driver license. Check if the card's expiration is not expired. Do not accept it if it is expired and you accepted it. And double check their age. They're over 21. Not on, let's say it's uh, March 28, 2021. It, you cannot serve them a drink because they just recently turned 21. You have to wait March 29, 2021, one day after, which is 24, hour, 24 hours later. And it's like regulated in uh, all state laws because there's, if you serve a drink to a minor or somebody just turned 21, here's a few things that can happen. First thing, the bar or the restaurant owner can lose their liquor license. Second, owner has to pay a fine. Depend on the offense, if it's first or second. If the bartender can uh, lose their job and they'll have to attend like a retraining course. If it's first offense, mostly they just lose their job. Depend on how the state regulates the 
the alcohol serving procedures. Okay, the next one. And uh, double check like the the lines and bump, bumpy surfaces by the picture on birthday. Uneven surfaces often indicate tampering. I mean, if someone like uh, try to uh, tamper the uh, driver license and change the date of birth, you have to find like key features. If it's misspelling words, it's obviously a fake license. If it uh, has uh, some pictures removed or something like altered, all you gotta do is uh, get a driver license guide. So you can see like what uh, like each state driver license looks like and compare it. Try to like memorize the book. It's free for the bar for bar owners. Okay, next thing is constantly uh try to remember the birth date should the matching of the letter use okay. When you have month, date, year. Okay, so it's 2021. So go about 20 years back. That'll be 1991. So 1991, this day, that's 20 years. So 1990. And by 1990, over March 28th, 1990, is considered over 21. If they're under that, well, as you know, oh, under. Anybody under 1990, they're over 21. If they're, like, let's say, over 1990 and 1991, they're 20 years old. Cannot serve them a drink. That's an example. How to use uh, what type of equipment you use for like use a black light, flashlight, or magnifying -like glass for close inspection of security features such as ultraviolet printing or micro printing to see if the ID is legit. If you look at the state logo, that's if a part of it's been missing or been altered, is another clue for a fake card. Pinholes on the surface, which may have been inserted to white out certain aspects of the date. Look out for that. You also, look on the uh, reverse of the card. You said you should see uh, like a uh, like a reflection. If you see like it's not reflecting and and it's even uh, counterfeit. If you look for blurry letters, that's obviously an example of being a fake card. You have to look at the size, coloring, letter, thickness, and corners of the ID to, just, to compare against uh, ID that is a valid driver license or fake. Some people use uh, other people's car. Make sure the photo, height, and weight of the car matches the person in front of you. So if the, the height says 5'9 and the person is like 5'5, five five, it definitely is a fake car. All you can do is just refuse them to drink the order. If it asks you to a bigger problem with the customer complaints or something like that, all you do is just take it to the manager. It's the manager's responsibility. It's not the bartender's responsibility. For you, as a bartender, are only designed to check ID if they pass the approval of the standard driver license. You serve them a drink, place an order for the bill and the transaction. If it something occurs in the beginning, or like you so you don't believe this is suspicious about this car, put you to the manager, the manager will explain to the customer. Yeah. From there, it's none your responsibility after that when to push the manager. Okay, if it's an out of state license for any reason, look on from note to you, use the ID checking guide. This is especially important and college and tourist communities. Okay, what to ask if you spot any one of these bumps. As for second piece of ID, people with fake ID rarely carry backup identification. Okay, or think the ID is fake? Okay, give them a test. Like say, uh, on the car. What is your birthday? Middle initial? Zip code? Just got like two or three questions. And where they live and so forth verify that they're the actual person with the driver license. If they're not, then they maybe be took the driver license from someone or made a counterfeit with a fake address or real address. Who knows? 
So there's pretty much like so for get a copy of a driver license guy for like 2021, you can Budweiser offers one. It's just we ID. You can get one at driverlicenseguy.com. It's not relatable. It's not for sale. So you can request one, and it's relatively free for any bars and restaurants or nightclubs in the area. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with everyone so they know about how to bartend and how to uh, look out for a suspicious uh, driver license card or type of ID. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Goodbye.